Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. So I have this placement. With Neptune and Sagittarius, it's like basically you find like basically when you're having a tough time or you're going through something, it actually gives you peace to learn new things. I know that might sound weird for certain people, but people with this placement might get it in the sense that like, say you just experienced a really bad breakup. You might find that you go diving into astrology or numerology or something like that. Subjects like those are higher learning type subjects. Sagittarius energy has to do with higher learning, the higher mind, philosophy, spirituality, and things like that. With this placement, it's like you have the ability to basically, it's like a philosopher. You have the ability to channel through certain knowledge and just knowing. It's like you just know when it comes to certain things, certain things having to do with higher learning. You can't explain how you know, you just know because Neptune having to do with the different realms and reality and then Sagittarius has to do with higher learning. So it's like your mind evolves up to like different realms and reality. Neptune also has to do with looking at life through rose colored glasses as well as it has to do with isolations, prisons, hospitals and things like that. So at this placement, you might find that you isolate yourself in order to learn, in order to go to those higher realms. It's like I said, you go through something and in order to like nurture yourself or bring yourself back, you educate yourself. And another thing too with this placement, with the whole rose colored glasses situation, you might have a hard time when it comes to like picking what you want to do with your life when it comes to college, you know, because again, with those rose colored glasses, you might be looking at a career, um, projecting onto a career in the sense that you might say, okay, I'm going to be a, um, preacher or whatever. And you chose preacher because, Preacher is something that is respected within your family, even though you you are very spiritual, you believe in God, things like that, but you don't fully subscribe to religion. So it's like with the rose colored glasses, you might project onto yourself and always come up with these different careers that you want to pursue that might that don't work out and if they don't work out that's because like you're projecting onto you're projecting onto yourself you're seeing yourself in a role that basically you really don't fit in you're not really like checking in with yourself to see what you really want instead you're taking yourself and putting yourself in a place instead of checking in so Sagittarian energy can be a know-it-all energy. You might not, you might have a hard time with people who think they know every fucking thing. And that might annoy you because that might be you. Because with the whole Neptune rose-colored glass situation, you know, you might not be able to see that you come off like a know-it-all and again with neptune being in sagittarius which i feel like this is a really good placement because it's like the realms comes together with the higher mind like this is such a juicy placement i really appreciate this placement it's like you, you know things you don't know how you know things but you know things so because you know things you're excited about sharing your ideas you know so because of that you might come off as someone who always got something to say you know, because you always got something to say. It's like, you know, everything. And that might intimidate people who are, you know, who are insecure within themselves and their capabilities. Earlier in life with this placement, you might find that you are easily manipulated when it comes to spirituality or philosophy and things like that. Or say, for example, you might date a person who subscribes to a real radical way of seeing life, you know, or culture 
and things like that. And it's like being around them for so long is like you start like taking on their hate or seeing the world the way they see the world when truly that's not how you truly see the world. So it's very important to pay attention to how we can um, be, we could delude ourselves by thinking that something we know is actually the way it is when really it's not the way it is. And we can easily be deluded by other people where basically just from them talking for so long, you automatically take on because Sagittarius energy is such a mutable energy. It's a flexible energy. So in the process of being flexible and understanding, you start subscribing to things that you truly don't subscribe to. So be careful when it comes to that. And I've already mentioned with higher learning and things like that. It's like, yes, information comes to you, but it's important to make sure that you're never getting your emotions involved in the sense that, yes, we have the ability to just channel down information, but sometimes certain information, we might think it's channeled information when really it's just our biases and our emotions getting involved, causing us to see things in a certain way. With this placement, it's very important to keep a journal because with that journal, it's like, basically, you'll go back and read some of the things that you write and you'll be like, I wrote that? Like, you'll amaze yourself with this placement and your ability to just bring higher knowledge through. Like in the Neptune in, in the Neptune in Leo video, I mentioned the lady who said that she originally created the matrix. And I believe that that's a possibility, but of course it was taken by, you know, someone else and, you know, basically they took credit for it. But I feel like the universe will do things like that only because we're just channels. You know, we bring the information through, but the information is not ours, is to impact the masses. So with you, with Neptune and Sagittarius, it's like you might find yourself in situations where, you know, you're like a philosopher, certain knowing just comes to you and other people might steal your work and basically it pisses you off. But basically that could be just the universe. You know, you gave birth to it but they have a bigger platform so more people could be reached, influenced, and heal by your way of seeing things. So that was me trying to do a quick rundown about Neptune and Sagittarius, and I am going to end it here. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.